Well, hello, my name is Matthew Croucher, and I'm a, a doctor who specialises in mental health for older people, but also in dementia at any age. And I work for the Canterbury District Health Board down in Christchurch, and also for the University of Otago. What I'm here to talk about at the conference today is uh, a bit of a, a report card for what New Zealand's dementia services now look like across the country and trying to compare that with some of the different important statements that have been made here and around the world about where we do want to head. Part of my job is to help develop services for people living with dementia in Canterbury and also across the South Island to support what's happening there and also know a lot of the uh, key people around the country so that's why um, I've been asked to do this. Uh, well, I think it's a mixed bag if we're going to look at the report card. I think one of the things for me that is most important uh, is just that the system as a whole is moving in the right direction. It sounds sort of obvious that that might happen, but actually there are parts of the world at the moment where things are not moving very fast in any direction. In terms of dementia care, things are not changing much. And there are parts of the world, both in more developed countries, but since the global economic crisis, and in very less developed countries, particularly those with war, where services are shrinking or disappearing. So it's not a given uh, that even in a more developed country, dementia services are extending and improving. But in New Zealand they are, on average, uh, and some really key things that have even in the last few years happened uh, are really around trying to get timely diagnosis and better initial management plans to support people with new diagnoses of dementia and the people that care about them. Kind of systems for how to do that are now set up in every single DHB in the country. Even two years ago, we couldn't say that, and five years ago, there were none. So this is quite a step forward. They're quite medical, so that's only a small part of the whole story, but it is an important part of the story, because in this country, diagnoses open the door to any medical treatments that might help, but also your access to funded support of various kinds, so it's pretty important. I guess where uh, other strengths in New Zealand lie are that because we're small, a, a lot of the key people know each other, and so there's a lot of cooperation, and uh, Alzheimer's New Zealand organisations and the ministry and different other groups all get together at a, in a setting called the National Dementia Cooperative to try and drive improvements. This is a great thing. Uh, that's not always available everywhere with buy-in from across the board. And I think the other thing that's really encouraging about New Zealand is that we're a country that likes to think of itself as having a number eight wire mentality. And what that means is when someone has a really cool idea, say in Dunedin, they'll give it a go and the news can spread quite quickly. And often these new ideas are small and inexpensive and a lot of these get picked up around the country in different places quickly. This is a strength. Where the report card probably isn't quite so good uh, is trying to support the whole of the workforce and not just the medical parts of it. Trying to support better people living with dementia across the whole of their journey. So prevention, uh, before I get sick, just when I'm starting down my dementia pathway with symptoms, right through to when I die and I'm dying with dementia. So our, our attention in New Zealand is focused at a few key spots, but we very much need to broaden that out. And probably the other place where I'd like to add to what some other speakers are saying at the conference is that the medical focus uh, or the health system focus, while it's pretty important, is never going to be enough. The whole person-centred approach 
and community and social connection strengthening approaches, which are not medical and possibly not even really uh, core business of the health service, these are actually pretty important for quality of life and we've got a long way to go there, although we've made a start. So the report card is mixed. I'm happy that we're moving in the right direction. There are risks ahead, uh, but I think we can be clearer now about the gaps and start to think intelligently about how to fill them in. So that's what I'm here to say today.